Okay, apologies. My maths was totally wrong. I was looking at four eliminations, not five. So now it's obvious now. Matteo needs a second to win this event. He needs a second to win this event. Um, Pierre will be on 10.4 points. So Matteo needs a second. Jordi Vonk, Matteo Yukino, Daldorf, Jules, Franz, Rakowski, Cousin, Sukas. Apologies about that. I hadn't updated. I was still on four eliminations. Uh, Jordi Vonk, let's have a look. There is... Yeah, there is still two points in it between uh, Tati Franz and Jordi Vonk. So... The discards won't make any difference. He needs to beat him by two points for that podium, and that will make a difference to Maciek Rakowski. And Maciek Rakowski could have a say in all of this. But uh, if we're looking at the event title, Matteo needs a second or better. Let's see, three points. Yeah, no, second or better. Second or better. That's it. That's the only thing he can do right now. Oh, this is tense. Apologies for my terrible non-refreshing there. Ten seconds to go, and this is the last elimination of Fuerteventura Slalom X. This is where the podiums will be decided. It is all on the line right now. Tati Franz needs a good one. Oh, there's a few people gone early. Maciek Rakowski with a great start. If he's not over, it's a good start. It's not a good start for Tati Franz. Good start down this bottom end for Jordi Vonk. Where is Matteo Yakino? He's not in the top two. That is for sure. But Maciek Rakowski doing his best because whatever he does will have an effect on Jordi Vonk. If he was to take Jordi Vonk out, would it make a difference? Maciek Pushing hard. Look at these two fighting for the world podium. Yes, they could. One of them could end up in third place. And it will be determined on what result we get here. Jordi Vonk is doing his best to make that podium happen. He needs to finish a couple of points ahead of uh, Tati Franz, which he is definitely doing right now. Could the sausage have a say? Well, it's had a say in a lot of the other races, but it means more than anything now. Jordi Vonk will be feeling the pressure. This is all or nothing. Needs a clean run here to get on the podium for the world title race. It's a strange angle. They're heading downwind. Oh, Jordi! He makes it over, but Maciek Rakowski goes ahead of Jordi Vonk. Matteo Yukino is coming back. Matteo Yukino is edging back. Could he get the event win? He wouldn't get the world title, but an event win would feel pretty sweet. But he's got Maciek Rakowski ahead of him. Jordi Vonk ahead of him. We just lost someone, and Tati Franz is still in the game. He's not two places behind Jordi Vonk. Oh, my God. This couldn't work out any, any better. This is going to become down right to the line. Two more jibe marks to go. At the moment, Maciek Rakowski is leading. Jordi Vonk in second. We've got Matteo Yakino in third and Tati Franz in fourth place. It would be dead level, I think, between him and Jordi Vonk if it was to finish like this. If Jordi could win it, that would change everything. But Maciek Rakowski is doing all that he can to stay ahead of Jordi Vonk. Because if he doesn't stay ahead of Jordi Vonk, Jordi Vonk will beat him in the overall podium. Oh my God, you couldn't make this up. So Maciek Rakowski leading, needs to stay ahead of Jordi Vonk. Tati Franz behind, needs to stay within striking distance of Jordi Vonk. Matteo Yakino needs to overtake Jordi Vonk. I swear you couldn't make this up. Coming into the last mark, everything is on the line right now. It's going to come down to this jibe and the last three. Maciek Rakowski, any mistakes will be punished. Maciek rounding first and Matteo Yakino has taken out Jordi Vong. No, he hasn't. He's gone inside though. And this could be the event win. This could be the event win. And this could be the podium for Tati Franz all in one move. The Italian going inside Jordi Vong. There is no rules. It was not dangerous sailing. It will count. And we have just seen it play out there and then. Maciek Rakowski will win. I think this last elimination. Matteo Yakino is not giving up but he will finish second and that would give him the event title. Tati Franz is up into third place which would give him third place and it would keep Maciek in third overall. What a race! Maciek Rakowski wins it. Matteo Yukino gets the event win. Who's in third? Is it Tati Franz? Is it Tati France? We need to see because it's big. Jordi Vonk in third is only one place ahead of Tati France. By my maths, that means Tati France gets the podium at this event, which keeps Matchek in the podium on 
the world title race. Please tell me I've done the maths right. I was doing them in my head as we went round. We will get confirmation of that. But as far as I can work out, that's correct. So 12 points for Tati, plus four is 16. Um, three points for Geordie makes it 17. Matt check will move up because Bruno won't go ahead of him. I'm pretty sure I'm right on all that. And Matteo Yokino will win for Ventura Slalom X 2024. What a finale that was. You couldn't have made it up. You literally could not have made it up. Insane race. Insane. And Matt Cech made a difference there. Just having him there, winning that race, everything coming together. We'll get confirmation of those results because they are just a commentator's mathematics going as we go. But I'm, I'm, I'm usually pretty okay. We'll see. We'll get confirmation of it. But as far as I can work it out, that's what it is. We'll wait for the official points to be done. Wow. Wow. 